In today's video, we're gonna break down five incredible facts about the amazing Belgian Malinois. Welcome back to the Femre Belgian Malinois Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the amazing Belgian Malinois, then how to become a high-level canine leader that raises perfect Malinois companions. So if you're a lifelong Malinois lover or just thinking about getting your first one, then start this incredible journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Belgian Malinois video. So then let's dive into today's video and we'll break down five incredible and interesting facts about one of the world's most amazing dog breeds. And we're going to start off with their history and purpose. The Malinois is one out of four variations of what is generally called a Belgian Shepherd. The Malinois may be the most known of these four variations, especially for their use in police or military work. But being a shepherd, the Malinois was bred to work and continuously stay busy. They are an extreme high energy breed with an equal extreme will to work and to please their handler and always be having something to do. There may be differences between lines, those who were bred specifically for police and military work may be actually even more extreme than those bred for more show and family life. Now at number four, let's talk more about those energy levels and continuing on with this matter, it should be noted that due to their extreme energy, the Malinois is not for many people. It can be extremely difficult managing a dog with such high energy as these glorious workaholics have. They need more physical exercise and mental stimulation than normal people are willing to provide for them to thrive. A Malinois who doesn't get this will most likely be more than destructive and very quickly develop problematic behaviours that eventually can be quite dangerous. Put this together with the fact that while a Malamar may not necessarily be aggressive, their way of herding includes nipping and they also guard their flock naturally and you could have a disaster on your hands if you won't or can't give them what they need. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video guys, I just wanted to let you know if you haven't done it already, over on our website FenrirCanineLeaders.com we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly and then at the end it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching so then let's talk more about their mentality and trainability. And a Malinois is highly intelligent. They are vigilant, active, lively, and always ready to go. They have all the qualities anybody could want for a herding dog and a protection or guarding dog. Their confidence shows through the way they hold their strong body and in their glittering eyes. A working Malinois is absolutely glorious and a thing to behold. However, the breed has a strong prey drive and combined with their herding qualities, means that a Malinois is not the best choice if you have younger children. Since they are so lively and active, playtime can be rougher than toddlers can manage. And when a Malinois gets excited, other smaller pets like cats can also be in trouble. They are, however, very fond of their family and needs to be an active part of your family's life. This is not a dog for you who needs to leave your dog at home while you're working for hours and hours on end every single day. Now, all that being said, a Malinois is such an amazing working dog, dog due to all of the qualities that we've just discussed. They are eager to please their humans and they do enjoy working constantly, learning new things. And for anyone with good experience with this kind of dog, they will be amazing to work with. If you're new to the working dog experience, you might want to start with a breed not quite as eager and intense to keep up. If you're still wanting one afterwards, then maybe it's a good time to look. Potentially a good starting breed might be a more working line Labrador or Golden Retriever. Gives you a taste of dipping your foot in the water of what it's like to own such an intense working breed. 
So then let's look at the looks and health for our next spot. Sometimes the Malinois is mistaken for a German Shepherd. No surprise there, since the breed do have some physical similarities. The Malinois, compared to the German Shepherd, however, is slightly smaller and slimmer. They tend to reach 26 inches at the shoulder and will weigh up to 80 pounds max, depending on gender. Fur-wise, their coat is also shorter than the German Shepherds and can come in fawn, sable, red fawn, fawn, sable, mahogany and red. Compared to the German Shepherd, they have a more square-shaped body, but the head and face is quite similar with erect ears and long noses. Now, if you take good care of your Malinois, the life expectancy goes up to 16 years, which is incredible, and they are known to be a fairly healthy breed. The only things you really need to keep an eye out are for hip and elbow dysplasia and some eye conditions that can occur. So then, lastly, the Malinois is and has long been renowned for its work with police all around the world. They are extremely popular within the police force and military for their courage, their force, their will to work and excel at things any other dog would hesitate to even consider. For example, a Malinois named Cairo, who was a member of SEAL Team 6, had a crucial part in the raid that brought down the world's most notorious terrorist, Osama Bin Laden, in 2011. Other examples are dogs who jump out of helicopters with their humans to work on foreign soil in wartime. There are many examples of fantastic Malinois who have done amazing work on extremely high levels in extremely dangerous situations. And of course, they are exceptionally good at protection work, even untrained. A trained Malinois, however, is absolutely glorious to watch what they do. Like I've said a lot in this video, while the Malinois is an extraordinary dog breed, it is not a breed for everyone. To manage one of these dogs, you need to be a calm, consistent leader that can provide extremely high levels of exercise and mental stimulation. So even though it's a breed that I personally love, I still wouldn't choose one myself and much prefer just to watch incredibly capable handlers of these breeds work their magic. So I hope you enjoyed that five quick facts about the incredible Belgian Malinois. If you do love this breed as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two Belgian Malinois specific videos coming to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you on the next episode of the Fenrir Malinois Show.